Welcome to Learning Mall. This is lesson three in our little series of subtraction for kids. And again, as I said, the idea of these lessons are that you dip in and dip out when you and when you need to. So this one, we're going to focus on a tool that you might want to use to start introducing subtraction with your child. And this will be probably as your child starts to understand subtraction a wee bit more and is actually starting to think about doing some very simple calculations that um, subtracting one, subtracting two, um, again, just working with those single digit numbers. And the tool um, I'm going to show you is a number line, which I'm sure everybody has heard of. Now, I like to just always draw my own number lines. You can get commercially produced number lines, which are great, which are, you can laminate, they're perfect. But when you draw your own one, you can actually decide what number scale you want on there. And that will become um, important as your child gets older, because you don't always just want a 1 to 10 number line or 1 to 20. You might need a 1 to 50 or a 1 to 100 or a 20 to 50. So if you draw it yourself, it's um, much easier to work with the numbers you want to. So I've just got a whiteboard, plain whiteboard, again focusing on ideas and resources that you would have at home. These are very, very cheap to buy um, and I've just put the numbers 1 to 10 on there. Please do not feel that your child is cheating by using a number line. I've heard that so many times as a teacher, you know, but oh, that's cheating them using a number line. It really isn't. It's actually giving your child that visual and that visual is really, really important because they can actually use the practical concrete number line, they will then start to visualise that in their head, which leads into their mental maths and the, that mental capacity. Giving them that actually gives them something to visualise in their head. If they don't have anything, it makes that, 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 that wee bit harder. So one to 10 number line, very, very simple. Um, and then you want to ask your child what calculations they need to solve. So we're going to look at four minus two, four take away two, four subtract two, and do feel that you can use all those terms with your child. The more they're exposed to mathematical vocabulary, the more they will become comfortable using it themselves. And of course, they're not always just um, presented with the same term. So you're gonna ask your child, where are we going to start? Um, this is your perfect opportunity to remind them that subtraction has to be done in the correct order. This is really, really important because if it's not done in the correct order, they'll not get the right answer. That doesn't apply for addition and multiplication. So this is really, really an important way um, and a, an important concept to enforce right at the beginning. So we're going to start with the number four, okay? So we go to four, and I would actually encourage them to do something, a draw a dot, um, have a little frog or something, um, and put it on there. You might even just want to use a little figure. So you might not even want to use a pen to jump. You might actually want to put your little figure on there. And then we're going to say take away two. So that means you need to jump back two. So again, reinforcing that idea of counting backwards. Take away two. So we're actually moving backwards two and actually let them physically move backwards. So they're jumping one, two, and they land on the number two. Again, if you want to use a whiteboard pen instead, actually physically showing those jumps. Sometimes it's actually nice to draw the jumps and then get the little figure or whatever to do it because they've actually got again that visual there and it's sometimes it's easy to make mistakes when they're busy jumping around with their little character they become a little bit obsessed with the character so that's your one jump back to three and your two jumps back to two and you land on two so your answer is two again a really simple tool that you don't even need a whiteboard you can do it on a piece of paper if you want um, and as I say you can make it and laminate it and have it really nice you can use it practically with little objects. You can use it with a whiteboard and actually physically do the jumps. I would also always get your child to double check that they've done their two jumps. So yes, how many jumps did you have to do? Two, have you done two? Yes, one, two. So you're starting to enforce that idea of double checking calculations as well from an early, early age.